All right, guys, welcome back. So on deck today is going to be some more thermal optics. Uh, in my last video with the thermals, uh, I used the Thor HD 2-8 to uh, 384 resolution. Uh, this is the 25-millimeter uh, lens. And we did some shooting with that, uh, tested out some of the features. Um, and on that day, um, the temperature was really warm, uh, and it was... We got video, we, we, we were hitting targets, but it was kind of hard to see that steel. You, you probably didn't pick it up too well uh, in the actual video. So I'll link that in the description below so you can check that out. But today, we've got a lot cooler weather. Uh, the sun is shining, so it's actually warming the steel up, and it, it makes the steel uh, significantly warmer than the background, and you get almost like a warm body look. Uh, so what we're going to do today, though, is we have the 2.5 to 25 uh, Thor HD, and this is a 640 uh, resolution model. So a pretty significant upgrade. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some video uh, just recording. I'm going to zoom out all the way and then zoom in uh, from various ranges uh, so you can get a good idea of what the difference is between the resolutions uh, and whatnot. This also has a 50 millimeter lens, so we have twice the size uh, diameter um, on our objective lens here. Uh, and of course, as I said, it's the 640 resolution. Uh, we probably, we might do a little bit of shooting. Uh, I may actually try to use the little 9 mil here uh, at 200 yards and test out that ballistic calculator and, and see how that works if I can tag the steel from 200 yards with this. And then we might do a little shooting from 400 yards uh, with, the, uh, with the newer uh, 2.5 to 25 model on the X95 here. Uh, something else to note, we're running uh, external battery packs. Uh, this is the ATN. Uh, kit. Uh, however, the uh, butt cuff or pouch that it comes with really doesn't fit too well on AR type rifles or on the X95. Uh, so I had to rig up some uh, uh, a different pouch. This is just a GPS uh, Garmin pouch and I just affixed it with the Velcro strap on this arm brace uh, and this is actually working out really good. Uh, in addition, this is a Maxpedition, um, I'm not sure exactly what, what it's called, but it's an iPhone 6 case uh, and it just so happens to basically be the perfect size for this battery with the connector uh, and I've connected that again with the a Velcro strap that I went through a sling uh, sling swivel on the opposite side and ran the cable so that it doesn't interfere with uh, any of the controls or anything like that. Uh, and this is actually working out really good. Uh, and these external battery packs, um, ATN claims 22 hours of use. Um, I, I don't know if you'll really get 22 hours. Either way, though, uh, you get more than enough uh, constant on to uh, to complete a full day's hunt or anything of that nature and of course they're rechargeable and you can swap them out uh, so pretty neat good way to save batteries because lithium batteries do go fairly quick in these optics and they get fairly expensive so to be able to just keep recharging uh, and have a longer charge time or run time that's a pretty good thing but let's go ahead and get this going so I'll do video probably from uh, 100 200 300 and 400 and then uh, we'll probably shoot from the 200 with the 9mm just to see if we could tag the steel. Uh, and then we'll probably shoot just a little bit from 400. Again, just to check the ballistic software uh, and see that I have all the data in it properly. Uh, I'm going to be using a Spear Lawman uh, 147 grain in the 9mm and a Wolf Gold 55 grain in the X95. Uh, so I'm going to see if my data that I've entered is correct. So let's go ahead and get this going. All right, this will be the uh, 2 to 8 model so we're zoomed all the way out at 2x we're at 100 yards and we'll go ahead and zoom in now and now we're zoomed in all the way at 8 power so you can see how the steel is standing out quite a bit more All right, let's get the other model. All right, this is the 2.5 to 25. Uh, something to note, even though it says 2.5 to 25, the nom normal settings uh, gives you 2.5 to 10. You can override that and zoom all the way into 25, but uh, I think the 2.5 to 10 is staying better uh, within the actual resolution capabilities. But we're at 2.5 power, 100 yards, we'll zoom in. Now we're at 
Type 10 power. Uh, I should note that the steel targets, the one on the right is a full size IPSC, the one on the left is a reduced size, it's roughly the uh, A and C zone region, so the head and body. Alright, this is a 2 to 8 at 200 yards. We'll go ahead and zoom in. And that's uh, at 8 power. Again, reduce size, Ipsy on the left, full size on the right. This is the 2.5 to 25. We'll go ahead and zoom in. Again, this is at 200 yards. All right, we're zoomed in with the 2 to 8. So we're at 8 power, we're at 200 yards, and we're going to just take a couple shots. We've entered in our ballistic data into the calculator, so we'll see if we can get some hits. Alright, so it took a couple shots at both steels. Um, Looks like the wind is the hardest factor uh, with the 9mm, <laughs> as you can imagine, it has some pretty good drift, uh, but when we shot in between the breezes, I actually held high on this because I wasn't sure uh, whether or not I was missing because the wind or not, uh, and, and that's why this hit here. So uh, we had one here, one here, and on our larger steel, uh, one, two, three. So it looks like the the information is fairly accurate in the uh, computer. Um, but of course that's a long poke for a nine mil uh but just kind of interesting i hope you could pick up the ding of the steel uh I, I recorded two shots so hopefully you'll be able to pick up the ding of the steel uh with that suppressed nine mil is kind of kind of neat actually it took a little bit to get back to you <laughs> all right let's uh, head back to 300. okay again this is the two to eight model the 384 resolution and this is 300 yards And this is the 2.5 to 25. Again, we're only going to uh, 10x. And again, that was at 300 yards. All right. We're back at 400 yards. This is a 2 to 8. As you can see, compared to last time, the steel really stands out in these temperatures. And finally, the 2.5 to 25. Alright, so we have to take a little break before we actually start shooting, and unfortunately the sun is going down, so the steel is no longer heated up like it should be. You can still make it out, uh, those two blotches right there, but uh, unfortunately it's not like it was. But we'll go ahead and just shoot a couple just to see how this, uh, if our ballistic calculator is on.
All right, unfortunately, we had to take a little break before we started doing the shooting portion. Uh, and the sun was going down or started to go down behind the mountains and the steel is cooled off. And we didn't get a real good contrast on the target. So it was sufficient that I was able to get several hits. Um, I recorded two, hopefully a bit of hear them. Um, but uh, the contrast definitely was suffering uh, as a result of the steel beginning to uh, mimic the background temperature. Uh, but it looks like our ballistic data is reasonably well... Uh, accurate as far as our uh, elevation is concerned uh, our bullet drop uh there i i don't i seem to drift a little bit to the right here that could have been because there is a little breeze blowing and i wasn't correcting for any wind uh, it could also have been because trying to uh actually hold center on the target so to say was a little more difficult because it wasn't the target's just not standing out that much uh but either way uh, i'll i'll mess around with that some more at a later date uh it's just unfortunate uh that by the time uh, we got around to do the shoot from 400 that the sun started going down and the steel started cooling off but uh we'll go ahead and wrap this up all right so hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of a comparison on the resolution uh and target identification at distance and so on and so forth uh between these two models uh if you're looking at purchasing one of these and you want to get into thermals i will say the uh, 2 to 8 um 384 model is pretty darn good for an entry level thermal i'm fairly impressed with this little guy for an entry level uh, but if you're going to be shooting past 100 150 yards um, regularly then it might be worthwhile to upgrade to a, a 640 uh, resolution model but uh well that's it for today guys uh the sun's going down so we got to call it a day uh, if you haven't done so already please like and subscribe share the video helps the channel out uh comment down below tell me what you guys think uh but as always please keep those comments professional i'll see you guys next time